turns out it doesn't actually matter what the M4 is. It would be in both equations and we just drop out. Okay. And so because of that, since we haven't been told anything about it, there's no reason that we have We get to do a problem using one of the psychrometric charts which like once you've practiced with it a little bit it's not bad this is my first time using it outside of lecture it's like our first homework on it so we'll see how well my eyes can read this um, but basically you've got along the bottom dry bulb temperature and up here wet bulb temperature or saturation temperature and basically in your problem, um, we're given the dry bulb temperature, which is like the actual temperature and the um, relative humidity. And once you have those two points, um, you can find them. Like, let's see, we have 80% relative humidity right here. And our dry bulb temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. So we find the 28 right here and follow this line up until we hit the 80% line, which is about right here. And basically once you have that, you can follow all of these crazy lines everywhere and figure out the rest of what the problem is asking you to find. So pretty easy once you know how to read it, just reading a graph, but it's, it looks like a lot right now.